we would like to believe we have some very wonderful and exciting news to share with you, yes. and that is that two trusted and amazing companies who have been around since 1910 are coming together. That's right. Hallmark and FTD Flowers, who make gorgeous one-of-a-kind bouquets, are joining hands just in time for Mother's Day. And here to tell us about the arrangements you can purchase or how you can make your own FTDs uh, is FTD's lead floral designer, Andrea Mitchell. Uh, I'm sorry, Andrea Ansel, Andrea Mitchell. <laughs> Andrea Mitchell. Listen to me. No, she's not there anymore. Andrea Ansel, welcome. Well, thank welcome. you for having me. How, how did you get here? started with all, with all of your this? With all of this? This is so beautiful. And... Oh, well, you know, when I was a little girl, my dad used to tell me I had magic in my fingers. So for as long as I can remember, I have loved to create. So I started with clay, worked to fabric, eventually it evolved to flowers. And I just consider them to be just such a natural expression and a great... That is just beautiful. Oh. Look at all of that. That ombre design there is yes, beautiful. Yes, so. Beautiful. So, yes, and I've been doing uh, flowers for flower design for 20 years. So that's more that's than very 20 good. Mother's Days. Well, speaking of, it's right around the corner, isn't it? Is. it? We are fast approaching. So let's talk about the kind of flowers. Why are the flowers that are the, why are they the perfect gift to give mom? Because flowers just capture such an emotion. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are, they're, they're very touching. They're, you know, just think about a time in your life when you've given or received flowers and how did it make you feel? It's like yeah. happy, joy, like someone went, went out of their way to be really thoughtful for you. So... By the way, this smells just beautiful. Doesn't, they does, it does smell so beautiful, all of it. I love but them. I want to just say that FTD and Hallmark are offering nine beautiful bouquets for Mother's Day. And you're also going to show us now how to make one. Right. And you say that, that when you make, you make the floral arrangements, there are four key ingredients that we should know about. And yes. what are they? The four key elements are color, texture, shape, and size. Okay, so do I need to have magic in my fingers yes. to do this, or just is it? <laughs> no, we're just going to follow yeah, you. Okay. So 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 let's start with. It. So we're going to start here. We're going to start with our largest bloom here. So okay. these are our stargazer lilies, and we're going to start with these. That's what smells these, so this good. This is what smells so oh. wonderful. Is that what? Yeah, it's yes. lovely. Let's fragrance. talk color first, shall we? Sure. All right, explain that to me when you say color. Just so color, you want to think about the recipient. You want to think about what their favorite colors are and what makes you think of them. So, for instance, okay. when I was putting this bouquet together, I was thinking of my own mother. She loves pink. She loves peaches. So I wanted, and I love that sort of transition of just a couple of colors. Mm -hmm. So in this, we're just, we have like two shades, you know. Keep it simple. Keep don't it get simple. You rainbow. Don't we don't need a rainbow one. color. No, do not okay. need a rainbow. Okay. So we're going to just be putting these lilies in here. This is going to give us, so we have our large scale here. Uh -huh. It's going to give us our foundation for this bouquet. We're going to kind of turn it around as we make it so we make sure we fill up all the spaces in here. And right. then we're going to start to build our roses in here. Is this um, still so, with the color? Or this isn't texture yet. This is still color. This is still color. Okay. So we're getting okay. our subtle colors that are going to go in here. All right. Feel free to... Whoop, I'm going to hand it to you. How many of these there. roses would you like? All right. I am going to take about six or seven of oh, those roses okay. that are going to go in here. So we just want to... Make sure that we kind of fill this out. And you're, the you're turning colors. it around. We're turning it around it. so we make sure that it's really balanced. Mm -hmm. So at the end, we'll have a really beautiful full bouquet. So, and then we also want to keep in mind texture while we're doing okay. this. Like we have these. You know, I didn't want to do bouquet. this on a round table so you could walk around. Or put it on one of those cakes. Just you know, walk around. around. Yeah. Like around. Lazy Susan. Susan. Yeah. There we go. Well, yes. Just one so more. Should one we pop more. that in there? All right, let's put that one okay. in there. So we're going to put this one right there. All right, Andrea, let's, let's talk about the uh, the texture now. What what do you mean when you say texture? Well, I think, you know, you look at a lot of things here. You have these, like, smooth, full um, roses. You have sort of this very smooth texture that you get here mm -hmm. in a lily. So, mm -hmm. and it has mm -hmm. a couple of little extra natural um, bumps on there that are great that add to it. And then we start to add our elstermeria. Now, this has this to me is kind of like prickly. When I look at this, it has yeah. a little bit of a texture to mm -hmm. it. So we want to add that texture that goes in there. So we're going to add the elstermeria into it. So we're looking today. to balance texture, so, or we're looking to pick one, decide, go, and go with it? Well, I think when we have two subtle colors, it's great to kind of add that texture oh, to it that oh, you shit. really get, you know, your eye to move around the bouquet. Mm -hmm. It brings out all the natural beauty of all of these combined together. Ooh, I think I found more textures. Are all right, yes, textures we are, they too? are. So, yeah. you know, when you feel that, they're very roughly. Look so I think that little, they are like very little. much... These the are what? These are roughly uh, carnations. 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 They're okay. carnations. So and they're so you can see that sort of very subtle transition of color that you get in these bouquets. All right. So that goes in. So, now, what so about go. what about scale? 
I don't so want to jump ahead, but is that... No, right? no, no. Scale's a perfect question just because it's like we have our larger blooms of the carnations, uh, or excuse me, of the lilies that go in here. So that really mm -hmm. gives you sort of a great structure and a focal point. And as you move around, you know, you get into smaller sizes. So that sort of fills in all the spaces. But when you're saying left. size, it's the bloom it's size, the bloom not size. the size of the, not necessarily the whole the collection. size of the bouquet. So mm -hmm. you're looking at the bloom size. Large, you have medium, you have these clusters and the small pops of color. Um, that you get in the small ones kind of mm -hmm. help to balance everything out beautifully. Does the shape of your vase make any difference about the, the face, uh, the, the, your shape as well? Sure, because you want to, you know, before you go into it, you want to decide, you know, are you going to do something that's tall? Are you going to do something that's low? Mm. So that's how you're going to get into your scale um, with, with your design. So if you want it yeah. to be... That's beautiful. Low, I can't like believe you just made too. that right here. Right. Just pulling it together. See, you could do this at home. Very nice. Oh. Look how beautiful yes. that is. And the final touch? And the final touch. We have one more carnation here. Okay. Pop okay. in Pop. there. Well, before we... And then we have... We just need this hot pink that goes right there in the center. And then we're going to finish this like off. Like you know, it's like it goes in the center. I'd yeah, be like, I don't know. Just yeah, stick it in there. It goes there. right but off in there. And this is Look our Look what you made tag. like in two oh. minutes. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Really lovely. Here, Mark, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Well, I'm not. Hallmark and FTD are giving away 20 of these beautiful bouquets, which start at $49. All you have to do is head to our Facebook page for a chance to win. And go to hallmarkflowers.com to see all the beautiful flower arrangements that are available. Andrea, thank you so much. These are just lovely. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Okay. It smells so good. Hey, guys, when we come back, we are getting twisted in the kitchen. We are looking at the chemistry of pretzels. Stay tuned.